it's Becca and welcome to a calming day of decorating and cozy homemaking here at a little farmhouse on the northern plains of Iowa. Today I'm in our bedroom and doing a little bit of a refresh in here. I drove into town and went to Home Goods the other day and purchased new linens, blankets, pillows, which we've really been needing for a while now. I'll also be putting out some farmhouse decor that I've collected over the years and then afterwards I'll be doing a little work in the garden and then going to make one of Miguel's refreshing summer aqua fresca recipes. Healthy and delicious cucumber water. So as always I'm so grateful you're here with me today and have joined me for a summer afternoon here at the Carriage House. So now that those cozy blankets, pillows, and throws have been put on the bed, I'm going to do a quick clean and wipe down the dressers and side tables before putting the farmhouse decor out. It can get pretty dusty in our home with all our kids and little furry friends, and especially during harvest time, which will be upon us very soon. But it feels so good to get this room all comfy and clean. Having a little safe haven in your home during these uncertain times can bring us all comfort, peace, and clarity.
So now that our room is done, I decided to take a walk out into our garden and harvest a few cucumbers for our aqua frescas later. But first I wanted to thank Ollie Gardens for sponsoring today's video. They sent us these beautiful galvanized garden beds and my husband and son are putting them together right now. But they're great for herbs, flowers, vegetables, a little tea garden would be lovely. But I think we're going to transplant our perennial herbs, our rosemary, lemon, thyme, and oregano, and eventually our sage plant. Our sage plant is really, really big right now, but, um, but right now they're in our bed that has a trellis, which would be good for cucumbers, beans, peas, and we kind of need more room for those types of things. But I did make sure to keep the herbs that require a similar amount of water together, like sage, rosemary, oregano, and thyme like to dry out just a little bit between waterings, whereas parsley, basil, and other delicate herbs like more water. But these beds are very well made, they're easy to assemble, and I love the unique colors that they have to offer. They have a beautiful sage green one that I love too. And also this is a four in one modular kit, which means you can assemble four possible sizes and shapes that fit your own home garden space, which is really nice. I could have done one rectangular one and a smaller circle one if I wanted to. You'll see what I mean um, when you look at their website. But they are weather resistant, rust resistant, and 100% recyclable, which is nice. And they would be perfect for doing a little autumn time garden too. That would be fun. But I highly recommend Ollie's raised beds, and I will leave all their information in the description down below. making these cool and refreshing aqua frescas and the one I'm making today is Miguel's cucumber water which is so good they're perfect for these hot summer days and for those of you who don't know I know most of you do Miguel has been on this channel for so long now just like many of you and I also really wanted to welcome you if you're meeting me for the first time but they're really easy to make they're uh, instead of a fruit there's cucumbers obviously lime juice a little bit of sugar but i will leave miguel's recipe all down below 